This month, let's address a common misconception. The first rule of the exchange actually states that you must reinvest in or, port- in or purchase a replacement investment property equal to or greater than the sales price of the linguished investment property. The misconception lies in the reinvestment requirement. You can actually purchase a property for less than the sales price of the linguished property, but it comes at a price. You will be taxed on any amount that was not reinvested. For example, if you sell a property for $2 million and buy a replacement property for $1.5 million because you want to retain $500,000 in cash, you can do that, but you will pay full capital gain taxes on that $500,000. The amount you retain or do not reinvest is called the boot. Many clients ask me if they can keep some cash back to pay off debt. The answer is yes, but the amount you retain will be taxed at the full rate, which is almost 30% in most cases. So if you want to keep the $500,000 in cash, you'll only get $350,000 after taxes. However, there are better options for accessing your hard-earned equity without incurring unintended tax consequences. For example, if you purchase your new property with all cash, do that. Once the purchase is complete, hold tight for about three to six months, long enough to create a relationship that will appease commercial lenders, and then take out a lien alone for $500,000, all tax-free. As always, it's highly recommended that you work with a qualified intermediary and consult with your wealth and tax advisors to ensure that you meet all the necessary regulations and requirements and avoid unintended tax consequences as a result. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. I appreciate your time and have a good day.